So today I wanted to talk about my particular transition over to Cubase away from Avid and Pro Tools. You know, that was a hard transition for me, especially having been working in Pro Tools for well over 25 years in the TDM slash HDX world. I spent a tremendous amount of time learning that program and I know it inside and out, but I decided to move away from Avid because I don't like their business practices. And so ultimately, I ended up navigating and landing on, on Cubase. And I have found that that transition was much harder than I thought it would be. And if you're like me and you're trying to make that transition and you're struggling with it a little bit, I'm going to share with you some of the things that helped me along the way to really get up to speed relatively quickly, much faster than I could have done if I just tried to do it on my own. Cubase is an immensely powerful digital audio workstation, as many of them are. And this is not about one being better than the other. I love Studio One. I love Logic. I love Reaper. I love all of them. But ultimately, I landed on Cubase. And a lot of that was driven by outside factors because I'm a huge fan of my SSL UF8s back here. And the integration in with Cubase is the best of any of them that I've found yet. And so ultimately, that, that helped me make the final decision to land over into Cubase. The challenge, though, that I've found going with Cubase is the terminology is radically different. The mindset that goes behind how things work, the engine behind it, is so different. You know, a transition from Pro Tools to Studio One or Pro Tools to Logic or to Reaper, it's very easy to do because the, a lot of the, the, the mindset behind the way it works is basically the same. So if you're trying to learn Cubase and you want to be able to get up to speed on it quickly, I've got some recommendations for you. Now, I'm going to take you over to the computer a second and show you what I'm talking about. But ultimately, I need you to understand, and I'll probably mention this again over there, um, but this is not a paid sponsorship, okay? It is the, the person I'm going to do this video about has no knowledge of me doing it. Um, they're completely unaware of it. I just happen to be a huge fan of what he's done and how this person helped me immensely uh, get up to speed and get up to speed quickly. I don't think I could have done it without him. And in my opinion, it was worth every penny. So let's head over to the computer and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Let me introduce you to Chris. This is Chris's YouTube channel. It's called Mixdown Online, where Chris offers tons of great content on how to do all kinds of things that are going to be of interest to you. A question that I've been receiving more than once. Is it possible to mix and master using headphones and get great results? The answer is yes. So I highly recommend Chris. He does a fantastic job and, and I really like his presentation style. So when I made the transition to Cubase, I watched Chris's original videos on little tidbits on how to use Cubase. Then I realized very quickly that I needed some help really getting up to speed quickly. Okay, so here is Chris's Mixdown Academy. And these are his online courses for learning different things. And uh, these are mainly, the ones I have in front of you right now are mainly geared towards learning Cubase. And I have found that to learn Cubase uh, requires really some outside help. Uh, it, it, it's the way it goes about its processes for doing many things is radically different than so many others uh, that are out there. And so if you're coming from a different platform, like I came from Pro Tools HDX uh, world slash TDM in the past for over 25 years, uh, when I decided to move away from them, I ended up uh, settling on Nuendo slash Cubase, which are basically the same Nuendo offering some more post features. But other than that, they're the same experience when using it. And I realized that that learning curve was hard because uh, Cubase takes a radically different approach into terminology and things like that. And I was struggling getting going. And so I started watching some of Chris's YouTube videos on, you know, the various ones that he may have out there on Cubase as an example. Uh, and I would see the various ones and really want to learn as much as I could about it. And so he, he offers a lot of various little tips about Cubase and things like that, where you can get good ideas and simple tricks. But, th but if you really want to learn it and you want to dive into it, I think it's strongly recommended by this guy that you go to Mixdown Academy and purchase his ultimate master class on understanding Cubase and really knowing everything about it. And, uh, and you can really start here with the ultimate guide to Cubase standard, and then you can develop into that later on. just depends on where you want to go. But this one here is, is kind of the minimum into it. 
And I'm going to tell you, whether you spend $129 or $200, I'm going to tell you it's worth every penny. Now, I know I sound like some infomercial right now. Chris has no idea I'm making this video. I'm not being sponsored, not being paid, have not been asked to do this video. But when I find uh, anything, whether it's a physical product or an online product that I think is so compelling and so worth every penny, I'm going to tell you about it. And that is how I feel about his training courses. They have helped me immensely. You know, if I go into my library as an example, you know, you can see here that that I've got all of these products in mind because I have found that they are all very well worth it. And, and Chris, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to go into my product for a second to show people kind of what you get with it. But, you know, you, you he's, it's very intensive as far as what he offers you. Everything over here are really each individual video that talks about one thing after the other. Whether or not you're on an older version of Cubase or a newer version of Cubase, he's going to cover it all here. And he covers every aspect of it. And what I would find is I would start with these, really get that down before I go to the next thing. But you can see here just the level of knowledge that he's sharing across through there. Um, you know, he goes into MIDI, recording audio, tracks, all kinds of editing um, special tools and everything like that and how to go about it and how to take advantage of all of, all of what Cubase offers you. And so this is intensive. And you will find, if you're like me, you'll be going back and forth to it as you start to delve into new features and you get settled in the ones you've learned up until that point, you're ready to absorb some more knowledge and some more information. And I don't care how long you've been doing this. I've been at this for a very, very, very long time. And there's always something to learn. And so I have found that his, his online courses are worth their weight in gold. Uh, they truly are. It's such a minor investment in the big, big scheme of things. And so I cannot, you know, I cannot recommend uh, Chris enough. You know, he's going to offer all kinds of different classes outside of that. Uh, but he's primarily focused on, um, on on what he's doing for Cubase. And you can see here all of the, the you know, the, the testimonials that people have given and things like that. And I concur with all of them. So if you're trying to learn Cubase and you want to get going, spend this money with this guy because he will help you immensely. Okay, so hopefully you've gotten an idea there. Um, his course online is so intensive. There's so much to it. It is so in-depth. And Chris is a fantastic teacher. I mean, he does an outstanding job of putting it in a way that anybody can understand. Again, Chris, I appreciate everything you do. Everyone out there know, again, Chris does not know I did this. He's not. He has no knowledge of me posting this particular video. But I want to say thank you, Chris, because I don't, thank you, I don't think I could have done this without you. And even though I paid for a product from you, I think you still deserve many, many thanks. And this is coming from one very, very, very happy user of your online course. So I wish you nothing but the best of success. And for those of you out there wanting to learn Cubase, again, I'll say it over and over and over, dig in your pocket. You've already paid for all these other things. This education that you're going to get from Chris is worth its weight in gold. That I promise you. Until next time, hope all of you have a great day. Bye-bye.